name is Eric Latender, and I'm the author of the book, The Wealthy Groomer. In today's video newsletter, I'm going to talk about a very, very important marketing and advertising technique, and that's direct mail. I'm a big believer in using direct mail. The thing about direct mail that you have to understand is that most people, when they use direct mail, they don't even know what the most important part of a direct mail piece is. If you were to ask 10 people what is the most important component to a direct mail piece, they would say, well, it's got to be the headline. When somebody opens up the envelope, they see the headline. Somebody else would say the copy. Somebody else would say the PS. Somebody else would say the offer. And what I'm here to tell you today is none of that is as important as what I'm going to share with you. The most important part of a direct mail piece is the envelope. Okay? Most of the time, when somebody sends out a direct mail piece, the person getting the direct mail takes one look at it, and the piece screams at them, junk mail. 99% of America looks at their direct mail over the trash can. And the thing is, is that if you get a direct mail piece with a logo, okay, computer-generated type, it's not even a live stamp, what does this piece of mail scream to me? It screams junk mail. So as I get my mail, I'm looking at it over the trash bag, and I go, junk, 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 and then I'll go, hey, wait a minute. This looks like it's a good piece of mail. And that's because it looks like it's from my mom. And this piece of mail is from my mom. But if you notice, it's handwritten. There's a real stamp, and um, in the return address, you could always handwrite that in or just put the street address in the town that you're from. When you get a piece of mail like this, you're not going to throw it away. So the trick to using direct mail is to make sure it doesn't look like junk mail. If you're going to spend a lot of time and money and effort sending out a direct mail piece, the most important uh, function of that direct mail is to make sure the person opens it. Okay, and if it looks like junk mail, there's a strong chance they're just going to chuck it. So make sure that your direct mail piece looks like it's mail coming from a friend or a relative. Don't let your direct mail look like it's coming from a business because then you've just wasted all your time, effort, and money. And one more thing. If you go to your town hall, you can get a list of all the dog owners in your town and you can direct mail them from that list. So. That's today's video newsletter, and if you have any questions about direct mail, about what to actually put in the envelope, anything like that, feel free to email eric at thewealthygroomer.com, and don't forget, my 40th birthday is two days away, so right now you can get any of my products for half off, and in the Wealthy Groomer Toolkit, I have example after example of actually actual mail pieces that you can use. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.